Hello there. It is Saturday night, October 19th, and we are back out on the Haunt Hop Trail tonight. We're beginning in Burbank. I believe we're going to finish in Toluca Lake. I have a lot to show you. I don't know. This video might just be all tonight. We'll see where it goes, how long or short this one is. We're excited we're going to wrap it up and make it one night or two nights. That said, we're starting here at Holiday Fantasies Come to Life. They do incredible Christmas and Halloween displays. They're always truly unique in whatever they do. Tonight, they're actually having a concert, as you might be able to hear behind me. And they have attracted all sorts of individuals. So let's see if we can even get close to this thing to take a look. Oh! Light! Thank you, darling. This is 1316 Lima. It is not on the SoCal haunt list, to our knowledge, but we call this one Serial Killers the last few years. And they just have a fun collection of horror icons, obviously, up there. Also, you've got the nod to Crystal Lake. You've got Chucky hanging out over here. And then Michael is kind of the main figure in the display that we've got right there. Welcome to Haydenville. Of course, Judith Myers reference there. And then I don't recall the nun being here last year. She's off to the side there. Fun stuff for the serial killers. All right, next up we have the Pirates of Burbank, the Attack of the Kraken. Really excited to see this one. Uh, there's been big crowds here as we kind of pulled up, so let's take a look. All right, so we've made our way back into or a different part of Burbank here at Pirates of Niagara on Niagara Avenue. But this is like the area where we start to see so many home haunts. And it's why once you get to like October, I don't know, 26th or so, you can just park the car and walk for hours up and down these streets, literally. So we've got the Pirates of Niagara. We're going to bring that to you right now, but we might have a few bonus ones. We're going to definitely see some cool stuff here generally, but we'll see if there's any others worth um, adding into the mix of actually covering, doing video. And then of course, everything we do video of, we also do podcast stuff. So you can always check that out if you're interested in more talk about these nights.
then it looks like the neighbors are on board as well with this. So we're going to the next house and the pirates, the pirate battle continues. All right, so like we said, there's a bunch of other stuff on the street here. And so we walk down, we're at 724 Niagara. We're gonna call this one Alien Treats. It is super unique, super fun, cute. All sorts of stuff going on here. Quite a story they've got. love finding stuff like this. It's part of what makes Burbank so fun. All right, and then here not, uh, two, we're kind of in between the pirates and the alien treats. We have two homes that are next to each other that all have some fun stuff. Really love the lighting, the webbing up there. You see all sorts of fun things kind of hidden here and there. Throw the hand to the black lighting. Right now we're at 834 Niagara. And this is fun, Casa Obatala. We'll just go ahead and use the name they got on the gate there. Probably the family there, but they've got an eclectic mix of things. Like we found a gnome over there, and just you can see the Buddha back there, some fun stuff, but of course this takes precedence in their Halloween display. These guys are ready to take off. All right, we are here at the Beetlejuice house. So this was Gremlins last year, if you follow the scene, and it is ridiculously cool. Celebrating all things Beetlejuice here. Uh, actually, you know what, was last year Scooby-Doo? I don't, maybe it's Scooby-Doo, I don't know. I just remember this spot always has fantastic stuff. I'll have to look back at our address list and see what they've done. But Beetlejuice is a fun, fun addition. And definitely Gremlins was absolutely fantastic as well. And they come over here with a little spot here where there are photo ops and they interact. Of course, you've got Beetlejuice in there doing his thing. So definitely an absolutely awesome stop. And just down the street from Beetlejuice House is this really colorful display. I love the paint, the lighting, some really fun stuff here.
All right, it's a long night. We're at, this is, we're recording this. It's eight forty, so we still got about an hour and twenty left of real time in terms of um, these things being open. But uh, it's definitely. I think we're like. I don't know, 11 or 12 in at this point. But next up, one that's also not on the SoCal haunt list. It's just down the street from Rotten Apple, though, is Barbie House or Barbie World. They always take these Barbie dolls, at least, I want to say since 2020, I think was the first year we visited. And they create these really kind of interesting dystopic scenes. It's always uh, really fun. There's like a Lord of the Flies vibe one year and all that. So anyway, let's check out the Barbie House. All right, here we go. This is 1021 North. California here in Burbank. Oh, they got their, that's a new name, I believe, for this year, Burbank Barbie House. There we go. Oops. Burbank Barbie House, okay. Let's take in these scenes. Always interesting here at the Burbank Barbie House. All right, next up, the one of a kind Rotten Apple this year with the last stop, Rotten Apple Express. This is once again a full walk through. They are legends in the haunt community. And every year, we can't wait for the night that we can get here to check out Rotten Apple 907 is doing. <laughs> All right, why don't we jump on the Rotten Apple Express and take a look at the last stop. This episode from the Twilight Zone called The Last Stop. You'll be boarding a train to Bakersfield. If you're not going to make it to Bakersfield, you'll be making a stop at Cavity Cove. It's a small town on the coast founded by a strange old eccentric dentist many years ago. He's kind of gone crazy. And what we hear now at Cavity Cove, they turn people into candy in this town. So be careful if someone offers you something. Train will be departing shortly. Please watch your step getting on and off. And enjoy your journey. Sit tight. Enjoy. Thanks for coming tonight. Here, not here. Stop staring here. Right up at the top. Yes. 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 Yes.
Staying, uh, moving on from Mountain Apple, but staying on California. If we come just, I don't know, about 10 houses down across the street, we have Skelly Manor. All sorts of skeleton fun. All right, we made our way down in Clark, which always has some really great stuff to see, particularly since 2020, I feel like. Uh, we were just talking with our friend Jennifer, like so much of this is just like burst. Uh, and so we've got the Creepers, or at least that's what we call them, the Creepers on Clark. I don't think they've had a specific name. And then right next to them, one that is on the SoCal Haunt list called the Burbank, uh, Burbank Sleepy Hollow. So let's uh, take a look at these. We'll do it all in one kind of shot here. This is Burbank Sleepy Hollow now. One Piece continues here on Clark. So a few years ago, they had just the One Piece pirate flag up, and it was like, okay, what's going on here? Uh, but the Straw Hat has become more and more a part of this. And last year, it really burst into this display with the Netflix boom and became really clear what they have going on here. And now I absolutely love it. Super fun. All right, we're at 3211 Clark now, and this is the Burbank Skeleton House, which we've covered for many years, but they have added a whole alien thing here with some incredible saucer, an alien autopsy, all sorts of fun stuff.
right, next up, and I think this is going to be our last stop of the night. It's after 10, so we're actually at the Clown House of Burbank, uh, and 10 o'clock lights went off, and just a lot of the, the lights of the rest of the streets there. So we're going to circle back. We'll have another Burbank stop before the end of the season here. Maybe maybe two more. We'll see about a weekday in there. But anyway, we've made our way over to Rotting Hill. Um, we love this one. It is such a fun yard show i mean it is a full-on show and they have so many great moments in it every year and i imagine we're going to see some great moments tonight too they go to 11 o'clock so even though we're after 10 here uh, so we're going to check this one out and then i think we're going to wrap it up for the night and hit the road and head back home we've got about an hour and 20 minute drive or so it looks like with no traffic right now home so we're going to do that and uh, then we'll get back to it on uh, sunday night for a little bit so that said let's check out rotting hill as we wrap things up Spectators of Robbie Hill Cemetery. It is one of our favorite haunts. Everyone's dying to get in. Hello? Hello? Yes, Meatball. Did I ever tell you what old ghosts smell like? Uh, what? Depends. Meatball, <laughs> <laughs> I would leave now. Hey, Marion, did you hear about the clown who was captured by cannibals? Did they eat him? No, nope, nope. he tasted funny. That's terrible. Not as bad as what happened to my deaf uncle. He got eaten by a shark. He couldn't see it coming? He couldn't hear the music. Did you hear about the duke who was buried alive? Oh, no. May we? It was a grave mistake. What's happened to Elle? I know her at her age. And the old coop dropped in. <laughs> I just wish these jokes could be heard by my fearless father. You know, he was so brave, he once ran into a minefield. Where'd he go after that? Everywhere. <laughs> okay, we must go. But I hope we raised your spirits. Stay safe. And have a happy, happy Halloween! Morning.